I refuse to let a day go past after hearing about this story and not address this. So this story came out today. Well, yesterday, because I'm recording it on April 28th, 2021. And what made me want to talk about it was a couple of things. One, I was listening to Trill Boxing in the morning. Shout out to the three individuals who over there who are a part of that panel. And they were talking about the black women that was fighting inside of the uh, Asian owned store. And I talked about that in a previous video and how they pretty much got their charges bumped up to a hate crime charge, you know, because, you know, we are in the age of stop Asian hate. And then I was actually also watching Queen Amadai Shakur and she was talking about it on her live stream. You know, one of the shows she was talking about. And I said, OK, the signs are there. Let me definitely address this. And I have to address this because, you know, there's a lot of propaganda against black people when it comes to the quote unquote stop Asian hate. That they leave out stuff like this. So basically what you have here is four individuals, one Asian American man who was in the far left. And three degenerates that are on the far right. <clears throat> and these three right here are responsible for the brutal, and I do mean brutal cannibalistic death of this man. I'm going to go ahead and just read the article and the details are going to disturb you. Trust me. Shane Van Nguyen age 55, was found dead in a crashed car in the 1500 block of Forest Park Boulevard in Fort Wayne on Sunday, WANE reports. Nguyen was last seen alive as he was leaving the Allen County Memorial Coliseum after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine shot at around 3 p.m. on Friday, according to the Fort Wayne Police Department. Authorities later announced that Nguyen was missing and issued a silver alert for him last Saturday. Around 5 a.m. on April 25th, an officer found a suspicious vehicle in the area of Lake and Coliseum and attempted a traffic stop, but the driver sped off. The officer tried to pursue the vehicle, but was forced to suspend the chase reportedly due to unsafe conditions. Police would later discover a car near Lake Avenue and Anthony Boulevard matching the vehicle's description crash into the back of a home. Inside the car was Nguyen, who died at the scene due to blunt force injury of the head, according to the Allen County's coroner's office. While it was not initially evident who drove the car, investigators revealed at least two people ran from the vehicle. Sergeant Jeremy Webb deemed the killing as barbaric, reports WPAT A21. It was brutal and extreme. It's not every day we come across cages of this butchery. That's a key word right there, butchery. Fort Wayne Police Department homicide detectives later identified the suspects as Matthew J. Kramer, age 21, Jacob D. Carrion Hamilton, age 20, and Cody Clements, age 20. All three suspects have been arrested as of Monday evening with authorities confirming that Clements turned himself in. Authorities do not believe the assault was racially motivated as of Sunday. Now, listen to that. They quickly came out and said they don't believe that this thing was racially motivated. But if it had been three black guys that did this. How much do you want to bet? Now, remember what I just told you about the two women that got into a fight with the agent store worker or owner. And how it went from a misdemeanor to a hate crime in a month. And that was just a fight. The woman is still breathing. This guy is not. And if they don't go into the details of what happened with this story in this uh, article, I'm going to touch on it a little bit. They do not know the connection between the three suspects and the Gwen. The incident is now being investigated as a possible homicide by the Fort Wayne Police Department, Allen County's coroner office, and the Allen County Prosecutor's Office. So I had to pause the video right quick because I wanted to find an article that goes into a little bit more detail about what these three did to this man. And you tell me if you believe that this wasn't a hate crime or not. 
Court documents reveal one of the suspects in the gruesome homicide on Sunday had asked the victim for a ride before killing and dismembering him. Remember what I was talking about with the word butchery? Probable cause documents say police saw a black van that was connected to a missing man, Shane Nguyen, on April 25th at around 5 a.m. and attempted to stop it before engaging in a sh short pursuit that ended in a crash. The three suspects, Matthew Kramer, Jacob D. Carey, and Hamilton, and Cody Clements fled the scene. Police then searched the van and found trash bags with the dismembered body inside. The coroner identified the victim Monday as 55-year-old Shane Nguyen, who was the subject of a silver alert issued on Saturday. Officers also found receipts listing items like tarps, a hacksaw, hacksaw blades, a plastic tub, two shovels, and a large knife from the stores in Goshen. Police say they then found a photo on social media of Kramer at a storage facility in Fort Wayne. Surveillance video there show Carrie and Hamilton driving the van with Kramer inside at about 11 p.m. on Saturday, April 24th. Officers obtained a search warrant for the storage unit and found a tarp with blood on it and a large knife along with items belonging to Nguyen. Kramer was arrested in Lakeville on Monday, April 26th, and said he asked Nguyen for a ride from Elkert to Fort Wayne, saying he planned to kill him before they reached Fort Wayne. So this was premeditated. Kramer took Nguyen to the storage unit, and he said he put Nguyen in a chokehold until he passed out. He said he then pulled him in, pulled him out of the van and hit Nguyen's head on the concrete before taking him into the storage unit. He then went to Goshen along with Carrie and Hamilton and Clemens where they purchased the above mentioned items on Saturday with money he stole from Nguyen to get rid of the body and return to the storage unit. Look at all the stuff that they went through just to get rid of this guy. Kramer said they dropped Clements off when he and Karen Hamilton returned to Fort Wayne with the van with when the police pursuit began. Detectives interviewed Karen Hamilton, who claimed he didn't know what happened until he was taken to the storage unit. Kramer is currently charged with murder, resisting law enforcement, and abuse of a corpse. Karen Hamilton is currently charged with a resisting law enforcement, assisting a criminal, and abuse of a corpse. And there you go. There's the gruesome details right there. Now, you want to know what's so crazy? I bet you that's not even everything. I bet you there's more to this story. But that right there, that is absolutely insane. They did all of that just to what looks like, you know, kidnap someone and just brutally kill them. Like they say he choked them to death. Well, not choked them until he passed out, which means that doesn't necessarily mean he's dead, but he was just unconscious, which means he could have very well felt every bit of pain that was going through him. But he probably didn't have the energy to actually just get up. That is absolutely crazy. But look at all they went through. And the thing is, they don't even have a motive as to why they did it. It isn't like they just did it to steal money from this guy. Like, But they went through all of that just to do it. And they still say, well, we're not going to investigate this as a racially uh, motivated uh, situation. See what I mean? Notice a pattern. I did a story last year. Well, not last year. A story that came out last year. Uh, this year with an update where a, a palm colored man attacked this Asian, this old Asian man. He didn't kill him, but he attacked him. And he came out. And when I say he, I'm talking about the Asian man came out and said, "Well, I don't want to hit him with a hate crime charge. We just gonna give him some kind of restorative uh punishment, which is basically a slap on the wrist. It was like what some probation, and that was it. So if you're noticing a pattern here, whenever it's PC that's attacking these Asians. They'll give them a pass and say, oh, it wasn't a hate crime, but let it be a black person. Oh, hate crime. And a lot of the times a black person isn't even pro uh, isn't the one who's kicking it all off. A lot of times they're provoked. And I think they're doing that on purpose so they can say it's a hate crime because now they know what they have at their disposal. That's why we keep telling black people y'all need to stay out of these agent owned establishments just to, you know, for your own safety. Not so much on a physical front. But also because now they have that on their side. We still don't have that. Should have been had it, but we know why we don't. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below to receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.